Hi, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, last time we face planted another wall and we ended up in this place, Tower of the Gods, where we had to face a trial of courage because the King of Red Lions said so. So, oh yeah, by the way, these guys are electrocuted, so yeah. Don't actually attack them head on. So that's another one of those switches that we need. Switch box. What what should we call it that we need? So uh, the wife stays up a lot longer than I remember, which is both good and bad. Good because it gives you more time when you want it to be in a particular position. But bad because it also stays down for so long. <laughs> and Link is just standing on the staircase as it majestically rises up. And by the way, if you toss this in the water, it respawns after a little bit. Maybe it doesn't. No, I can... I'm running into it. Okay, it doesn't respawn. Okay, that is different than I remembered. I don't care. Really, I mean, it still works. <laughs> don't question Zelda logic. My motto. Actually, no, that's not my motto. That face has seen some stuff. I'm just gonna say that much. Stupid water. <laughs> well, I, I had a brilliant idea just now. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work and get a good angle. Oh, come on, water. Yeah, I think the cutscenes do count for the, like, the water timer, so yeah, keep that in mind. You know where this is going probably by now. So, yeah, this is what the t it looks like when you're moving something on the touchscreen, just FYI. So you have to wait for the water level anyway. Couldn't resist. <laughs> um, the last episode, I was talking about Mogus Solid, the right time we ended off. But yeah, Phantom Pain is coming up next week. Uh, Mogus Solid 5. And the gameplay looks so fun, but I just have this horrible, horrible feeling about everything else. <laughs> Simply put. Um, story doesn't look good, the characters don't look characterization doesn't look that good. The characters themselves look good, but just there doesn't seem to be any characterization. And, you know, that's why people like Mel Gasol 3, because of the characterization. Because uh, Big Boss is so much better of a character than Solid Snake. Um, but now they seem to be going more the Solid Snake route of a fairly blah protagonist. And again, I seriously wonder how many people are giving it 10s because they actually think it's a good game. And how many people are giving it 10s just because it's Kojima's last game. If that, like, nostalgia factor is weighing better in people's minds and than, like, an actual... It, it's making it seem better than it actually is. Uh, I think there's something special here, actually. We'll see. Ow. Or just suicide off the ledge. That was graceful. The switches do stay activated, so... And we're even gonna make this platform cycle. <laughs> we're not gonna get to see what, what I thought would happen. I don't even know if you can do it yet. Or if, it's, actually, uh, if it does, I hope, because this would be a good time to explain it. Oh, 10 out of 10. I'm expecting this to take two videos anyway, so I'm not really sweating for time. Okay, it does work. Um, this is important um, if you are a completionist. <laughs> I'm not in this case because I don't want to get all the pictographs <laughs> of every character in the game. Simply put, you do have to do that if you do want to 100% the game. A goddess tingle statue. Um, there are five tingle statues, spoiler, uh, for one for each dungeon. Except the Forsaken Fortress. Um, we didn't have bombs in the other two dungeons, so we couldn't actually do that. Um, I just want to point this out. 
the retro version had the uh, Tingle Tuner, which was basically the Game Boy Link cable. This version does not have that, but um, the original game you have to use a special Tingle Bomb. Sounds really weird now that I'm saying it out loud. Um, to activate the trigger that causes the chest, the chest to spawn. You can't talk apparently. But because there is no Tingle Tuner, you actually do have to use regular bombs. But the trigger is still in place, so it, and it will respond to actual bombs. So that's nice. That's the only time Link ever speaks. Fun fact. Come on. That's like the only thing he ever says in any Zelda game. Super weird, but that is true. So, um, we can't actually do this. He just falls. So we just have to call him and sl we'll slowly wait for him to follow us. Uh, I'm not sure if they can fall off the ledges. I have never really tried to find out. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to restart the sequence. Once he gets over here, you can pick him up and carry him. And Link's jump height is not affected by carrying large objects. Go figure. Uh, is there a new enemy spawn? Bye, dude. <laughs> um... Oh, oh shoot. I am trying to remember where something actually is. I think we ran past it. Yeah, could you walk a little slower, pal? Word pal will always make me think of Phoenix right from now on. I'm a she specifically. Gee, I don't know what that is. New melody. Um, I'm okay. Um, yeah, I think we did miss a treasure chest act a couple actually, so we're gonna have to go back and do that at some point. Again, in the original, you had to listen to that tutorial melody like twice. I mean, when it says a full circle, that means don't press a direction. And get ready to be really sick of that song by the end of this dungeon. <laughs> Fair warning. Cause you will. You will be totally sick of that song by the end of this. Sorry, but it's the truth. So nice having a map on the gamepad. Um, I don't know how you could even go back after playing the HD version of a lot of games. And some people will still like stand by HD versions of games. I mean, like original. Like some people still defend the original Ocarina, and I don't get that. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it'd be super hard to go back. Uh, other one. Again, you can't move while aiming in the original, if I recall correctly. And that guy was just being a jerk. Because you can't kill him until you get the item of the dungeon. So we just have to kind of maneuver around him. The cursor is being weird. Um, this isn't like pointer controls if you're wondering. And I hit let go. <laughs> um, I forgot it, I forgot that it was let go in this. I thought it was pull up. <laughs> um, okay, third time's the charm. It actually was. Thanks, dude, <laughs> for the boost. Now we can actually kill him because he's above land. Please drop a heart. Nope. No dice. Okay, that's which we need something to weigh it down. So let's go in here. Another grapple point. Not gonna forget this, this time like it last time. So let's bust out that new melody of ours. I did not do this in the right place, did I? Nope. Oh yeah, you have to do this first. You have to call him first. I don't even remember this dungeon. Missing two treasures on the first floor. All this. Okay, I'm not doing so well. So I want to stand right here to break, to break, to build a bridge. Now we use the command melody. See why I said you get sick of the song? Here's a fun fact, it doesn't show Link playing the song anymore. 
it just skips straight to the animation of taking control. That is one thing that is very appreciated about this version. Because you literally would have to watch Link actually physically play the song every single time in the original. So yeah, you actually probably won't get sick of the song in this this version. I'm just going off of GameCube knowledge. This is a mini boss, so I'm pro this could be your first death. I am not even kidding. I'm not even just trying to hype up a big showdown or anything. I mean I think I could legitimately have a death here. Which one is the, which one? Okay, I had to aim for that one. That's that's weird. Feels like there would be hearts in those. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about Rise of Tomb Raider. <laughs> I was looking through a list of Xbox games coming out this year and Rise of the Tomb Raider. I totally forgot I was looking forward to that. In all honesty, I really really like that game. Uh, this is, could be considered sacrilege again. But I actually liked it better than Uncharted even, which surprised me to be honest. Because I like Uncharted a fair amount, but it's not like best game ever like most people. But Tomb Raider was actually a lot more fun in my opinion. This is a dark nut. Supposedly, that's a mistranslation. That, you know, the Japanese would be more like Dark Knight. <laughs> but for some reason, it's sort of like how the Zoras in Ocarina do sort of appear in uh, the original Zelda, but they're actually called Zolas. Like the, the Captain America villain. <laughs> and he was in the movie. Uh, I'm not good at superhero movie knowledge. Fun fact? I can't remember if that Zola guy was in the first movie or if he was in one that I didn't actually see, but he actually was in the first adventure. Um, eh, that's my review of Captain America the First Adventure. <laughs> um, it wasn't bad, it wasn't great either. Fun fact, you can actually destroy these pillars. And they get they drop varying amounts of rupees, so I recommend doing this if you have free time. There is one place later on in the game where these pillars like consistently drop like a heck of a lot of rupees. And we got... The hero's bow. Which is stupid because there's no other bow in the game. <laughs> Just saying. It's like there's no need to differentiate. And because that was a that was a mini boss room and it has its separate loading time, it actually does count as a separate area. So all the enemies respawn free. But okay, we have a bow and arrow now, so we can snipe these guys now. Uh, it's hard to line up. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm I like how Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess have a cursor on Wii. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I do like that. Um, I want to LP to try the Princess 2. I think I already said this, but yeah, I just don't have the knowledge of it to LP it effectively. I'd just be stuck for like half an hour to test on one puzzle. Because <laughs> I played Twilight Princess literally twice. I think even Ocarina I would give me less trouble. Okay, so now we got the 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 blah blah. We got the thing. <laughs> uh, that was a weird sound. I don't even know how I make sounds like that sometimes. Um, so we're actually going to backtrack. That's the last door, by the way. Um, but we are going to backtrack. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Wow. Treasure chest is floating. So what other games would I like to LP at some point? Pokemon Fire Red, I've already said I've wanted to do, but I am such I'm so not a Poke nerd that I'd probably just embarrass myself in the process. But I don't know, maybe people would want to see that. See me do badly at uh at uh, Pokemon. Fire Red just because of Game Boy player. Emerald because I, I forgot. Well, like with Pokemon Bank, they did the free trial thing. And I was, and like a complete idiot, I accidentally forgot to upload all of my good Pokemon from Emerald to uh, Pokemon Bank. <laughs> so some of my good Pokemon are still actually on Emerald. I didn't ever transfer them over, so whoops. 
I should have used the, the boomerang, but whatever. I didn't feel like switching. And remember this room? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we can get this treasure, but there's another treasure that I flat out missed. Ironically, I think it's the dungeon map. <laughs> I think we found the compass, but not the dungeon map, which is bizarre. Oh, there is gyro control if you're playing with the gamepad. So if you like Ocarina of Time 3D's gyro, have fun. I, I'm, I'm using a pro controller, I, I already said that. Just because frankly having it bobbing all over the place wouldn't be very pleasant. And we, we get the idea at this point. Backtrack, use the new newly acquired item. And stuff happens. Wow, that was descriptive. Uh, that was a Armos, I think. Was that an Armos? Or is that an Armos later on? Because there's uh, two enemies that kind of remind me of Armos. <laughs> I don't know which one is actually an Armos. Well, the real Armos, please stand up. So, the other treasure we missed is over in this area. In that little hut down there. Hope the water drops soon. It'll land me right on the platform, I hope. Yeah, I went right by this and didn't even think. This is, I think, where the dungeon map is, which is completely irrelevant now. There's a chew. Boom. Dead. Okay, so you can move the blocks to make it easier on you. But I think you can trick it out. Um, I'm gonna try. Come on, Link. Just you can do it, buddy. <laughs> like this block here. What you're supposed to do is push this block up to, against that wall. And honestly, I feel like I'm gonna botch it because you can't just time your throw really well from that ledge. I think. Oh, that's the ledge I'm thinking of. Um, anyway. Yeah, this is part of the reason why the t timers on these things are so generous. Because they need to give you a ton of time. Uh, quickly swim over here. Uh, I can't move. Okay, we're good. We're all good. Um, there's a chew up there. 360 no scope. <laughs> um... I don't even know what 360 no scope even means. I'm just saying, I'm not into FPS games, so I'm pretty like. I have no clue what 360 no scope even means. About freaking time. I was wondering why the map wasn't showing up on the gamepad, and that's why. See you, dudes. Have fun. Um, and there's one more backtracky treasure, and I know I could just jump cut, but I don't know, just jump cutting to get 3 seconds of footage doesn't seem worth it. Um, besides, we still have, because I like to keep these videos around 30 minutes, give or take like a minute or so. Um, and we still have 10 minutes, that's plenty of time. Now, I'm, I'm gonna try to trick this out, I'm bad at this. But, yeah, okay, you can shoot Beemos with an arrow. So if they're giving you tr trouble, shoot them. The arrow is usually my go-to weapon, Zelda's. Uh, I rat just, like, disappeared. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Literally nothing to see here. Because it disappeared. Um, and lastly, we were just here, but we couldn't do this yet. Please let the plat. Uh. Okay, this is new because we have arrows. Uh, that dude's over there. Oh, that's a Wizro? Wizro? I am I thinking? Is it Wizro or Wizro? I don't know. It's actually funny because Wizro and uh, is okay. It is Wizro in in Hyrule? I need to stop myself. In Hyrule Warriors, the enemy is Wizro. In this game, the enemies are Wizrobes. Problem solved. But, what was I saying? <laughs> um, Wizro, Wizro. Uh, it's funny because Wizro and Hyrule Warriors to me looks more like a Poe. This might be an Armos actually. 
I don't know if this will make the other guys might be like mini armors or something. Like I don't know if this will make the other guys might be like mini armors or something. Because Nintendo doesn't have like enemy ideas, they just like make a smaller version called mini. And for consoles, they just call everything new. <laughs> I hope it's not the. I hope. I really, really hope. This is. I don't consider this Nintendo bashing. I hope you don't consider it this way. But you have to admit that the name New 3DS isn't exactly helping <laughs> sales at all. You gotta admit that the name Wii U isn't helping sales either. So I really hope the NX's final name isn't just New Wii U. But at the same time, doesn't it seem like something that would happen? <laughs> New Wii U. <laughs> Food for thought. I mean, I'm probably gonna, gonna buy it anyway, even if it has a dumb name, just because it will probably have Zelda on it, it will probably have Mario on it. Um, yeah, you know what, people always say like, the Wii U has no games, but uh, it's just, it's a different market basically, is the way I see it, I mean, like, you know, I don't like Killzone, I don't like, you know, Grand Theft Auto, so I don't care that, you know, those games aren't on it, frankly. Um, I know a lot of people do, but then again, it's like you can play GTA on like a PS4 or PC, and then you can play like Zelda on Wii U, so everybody wins. That's the way I see this. Um, just like, every console, including PCs, has its place, I feel, so I don't get the point of bashing any particular one as being inferior or anything. Other than just strictly by games. Like, I don't have a PS4 because it has no games. <laughs> That's I'm exaggerating, I'm just making fun. But seriously, it doesn't have as many games. And whenever you see a wind icon on the floor like this, play Wind's Requiem. One of the few applications of it with the swift, ah, swift sail. I think it tells you if you examine the floor, so it's not missable. I was attacking these guys too early. Um, but like the PS4 doesn't have any exclusives, so I find that a problem. Like I, I've said this privately to you know people I've talked to, but like where we play alone, to me is enough to justify an Xbox One because you're getting 30 of like the best games at a, a steal of a price. Okay, I do admit that <laughs> some of the games look like complete trash on that collection. But you still getting Perfect Dark, and you still getting bit both banjos that are actually, you know, universally accepted. You're getting, you know, Conquer, the good version of Conquer. So it's like I don't know how anyone could like, like personally, I just feel like the PS4 doesn't have enough games that are, like exclusives to justify wanting one. I mean, Ratchet and Clank looks good, but it's a remake. <laughs> uh, Bloodborne is, looks a lot like Dark Souls. I mean, I don't know, I just think games like Sunset Overdrive are few and far between on PS4. Like the super original type games. Like Xbox, they feel like, I feel like they're trying harder at least, mainly because they're la they're behind. <laughs> Not last, we use last. But like a technical Ouya is last. Ain't nobody got an Ouya. Actually, I, I, I'm aware of some people having Ouyas. Most of it emulation. <laughs> Not for like the actual like are there any original Ouya games or are they just all like ports? <laughs> Again, not to discredit the Ouya, but I just don't think it sounds that good. Here's this controller is terrible, which is the biggest issue. Oh, this guy's gonna troll. Get out. Out I say. Um uh, what is this for? Did I miss a switch somewhere? I did. I think I just saw it. No, I didn't just see it. Oh, there it is. Can I trick it out? Oh, come on, corner. Cooperate. Back on the platform. Okay, that was way closer than I intended. 
Yeah, I'm an expert marksman, could you tell? And this is one of those, like, screw that moments I have. I, you can see I just equipped the Deku Leaf, so you know what I'm gonna do now, right? Yeah, we're not gonna navigate this all over again. Nobody got time for that. Um, scale puzzles are the best, aren't they? Oh, speaking of puzzles, I really hope Professor Layton ends up on the eShop because I really want to LP those at some point. I know I'm saying that sarcastically, so don't take it sarcastically, but I would legitimately love to play like all the Professor Layton's uh, for LPs. And I bet everyone would want me to because you'd be able to see me sit for 10 minutes on a block sliding puzzle. <laughs> uh, no, literally, it would take me about 10 minutes. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if I should be admitting that. Okay. So, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to, but this is how I always do it. Deco Leaf Cross, because I already have it equipped anyway. Oh, we're right on pace for where I want to be. I cannot complain. Toss you pal over there. And, um... Command song? Wrong. Uh... Blink does not know how... I do not know how to music today. Oh yeah, I forgot how wondrous skipping that cutscene is. Um... Pick you up. How does Link do this? <laughs> I mean, seriously, how does Link pick this stuff up? Okay, so that's another Wiz robe. Let's take care of him before he causes any problems. And he's actually spawned in a really good spot where I can do that! Because <laughs> so if, if he spawns across, then you have to arrow. Yeah, Animal Crossing. I don't know why I'm talking about Animal Crossing so much today. Probably just all the amiibo hype. Yeah, um... So we need all the statues. Okay, so that bat is probably gonna mess us up, but I'm gonna try this anyway. Oh, okay, so just jump across. Wow, that was surprisingly straightforward. <laughs> I know I just was saying like... 10 minutes ago that I was like, oh, well, I want to keep videos around 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, but um, we might go over this time because we're so close to where I want to end it off. I mean, like, so close. It'd be such a waste to just, you know, tack on like a... Do the five minute section on the end of an episode. This is a warp, but you knew that already. And I got all the treasure, so we're all we're all good. This is the same animation as the exiting the temple, oddly enough. We're on the third floor now. Oh, I forgot there's actually a fight here. Um, actually, we are going to end off here. So next time on Legends of the Wind Waker, we will finish up the Tower of the Gods.